Rosemary's from London. We're all living in North London. <laughs> French word and it means kind of ornament trinket, you know, something that's pretty. Um, like something that looks good but doesn't have much practical use. You see what I mean? <laughs> you suggested that that's what we're like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it's always been something we get asked about because it's a bit unusual. I think it's because it's gone from being yeah. a pain in the arse to being like a thing. Like, yes. like it's, it's something that we always get asked about, and yeah. people don't really know how to say it, and people don't really know yeah. the meaning. And we kind of like that because it's like, yeah. so you know, so what? It can mean whatever you, yeah, you know, not, it can be whatever you want it to be. It's not a common word in, in England. You know, it's quite an unusual word. Yeah. It's Tommy Flynn's in Camden was our first gig, and I uh, can't really remember much about it. I think all of us have played a gig separately of playing together. Um, I was set, set, yeah. I was set was completely different. Mm. Absolutely. It was, it was it was pre it was before Bobby, and before Bobby. really before we yeah, yeah. Uh, before we had to, so Kit Bobby played plays keyboards, and that's kind of influenced them. But, well, I guess it's good. Yeah, I guess it has influenced yeah. the band quite a lot because we're now much more of an electronic e sounding band than we ever were or ever have been. And so we were just a straight guitar band. Really. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the nice thing about the band actually is that we've all got such different influences and we, it's kind of this weird mishmash of um, styles, really. And it is, you know, it's like we never quite know how to classify ourselves. You know, we're not really an indie guitar band, we're not really a dance band, we're not really a sort of, you know, we've got loads of things, which is great, which is, you know, like... Tim likes a cousin Paul, I've got guys like Spooks and Collins, Thanks for Chip, John Michel Jarre. He's a bit of a Phil Collins fan. <laughs> no, but, you know, we, like, but I'm, I'm really into dance music, and so is Neil, but equally, Neil's really into kind of the 60s and mod scene, which I am as well. But the good thing as well about that is that, that each of our influences is, we've influenced each other. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. that. Yeah. Before I met him and him, I, I didn't really listen to dance and electronic music, um, but now I do. And I didn't listen to Oasis, and I'm still there. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to Oasis. Oh, right. Shut up. When's, I bet you listen to Oasis. Nothing wrong with Oasis. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, we don't.